Hey guys, I'm LB, and whoa! No, OCC! Alright, so, this is... <laughs> rather unexpected introduction... to... Dilapidation Part 3 by Lone Wolf 2056. Yes. <laughs> Were we in an event last time? I don't remember. This is another post-commentary, by the way. For half of this video. Description says, Medium hard difficulty, continue testing in the ruins of Aperture Laboratories. Alright, yes. So, in this post-commentary, we will be talking about something while past me messes with these cubes. Seriously, I spent a really long time messing with these cubes. I'm not sure why. Uh, I really should've started the map, but... Instead, I was searching for secrets. Like, you see that cube fits back there? First, I'm gonna try crouching back there myself. Spoiler alert, I won't fit. <laughs> but, interestingly, you can shoot a portal there! And cover over the Ratman graffiti. Right, so, this radio here, you pick it up, and it starts playing music! I'm like, oh no, not the music! I hate- I hate when these radios play music. I much prefer them to be silent, to be honest. I mean, it's a good song and all, but I've heard it so much. I've heard it so much. I tried throwing it into the Fizzler and I failed. <laughs> so instead, we're just gonna put all the cubes down there. Let's put this cube down there. And this cube down there. Uh, missed. And this cube is going to get thrown too far. Somehow I threw that cube across to the other side. I'm like, how did I do that? I don't know. Future me still doesn't know. Alright, now all the cubes are down there. And I discovered you can close this door, and it's not double-hinged, it only opens out. In contrast to other double-hinged doors in this map series. And also you can shoot a portal on that surface. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can. And I'm making a joke about this being a reployer, you know, in case any of you've ever seen the game Prey. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely a copy machine and not a reployer. Hey, radio's killed! Let's kill all the cubes too, because why not? Alright, now we're in the actual map. <laughs> and we have a funnel. And a way to use the funnel. And I- this- this cube dropper here, I completely miss it. Like, I- I don't even press the button, because I don't even notice it being there. Instead I'm just focusing on how this cube button turns off the, uh... Actually, it's a regular button. It turns off the fizzlers. And then I'm looking at this portal surface, wondering if I could jump up onto that weird angle part there. Spoiler alert, you can't. And spoiler alert number two, I didn't try. Right. That looks like the void, is what I think I said. And then we've got a button here, that you can't press. Oh wait, did I try it yet? Come on, pass me, get your stuff together. Can't press it, yeah. I'm pressing E on it and nothing's happening. Of course you can't hear that for some reason. There's another funnel, and we can portal back up there if we want to. There's a whole area in here and I'm like, how big is this map? How far are we going with this? And, uh, it's actually much easier than it lets on. Like, I thought this was gonna be a whole complicated map, but no. It's just a, a couple puzzles. And that button you can't press either. Nothing happens when you press E. And so now I'm wondering, how do I even get started? Where do I find a cube? And oh, there's a button here! How did I miss this button? I'm unobservant, as always. Yes, past me is very unobservant. And sometimes future me as well. But yeah, we'll take this cube up, and I'm like, wait a second, I can't take this cube through this fizzler, how do I do this? And so instead I'm like, looking around for like, other portal surfaces, and... You know, trying to figure out, what the heck am I supposed to do here? Turns out, I'm just being dumb. <laughs> this funnel is long enough... ...such that you can just put the cube in it, and then go up before the cube. But yeah, this glass here, the broken glass right here, I'm trying to break it with the cube, because it looks breakable, right? There's bro- there's glass that we broke in another map in this series, and I'm like, how do I break that glass? And, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get to see how to break that glass pretty shortly. So here I am going up with the cube again like a moron, and the cube just falls down, of course. And, uh, yeah, there's no floor portal surfaces other than that one, and we can't see it when we're on the button. So instead, we'll just do this, like a normal person would. Ta-da! We're up here, the cube's in the funnel, put a portal under the cube. Put the portal up there, and we have the cube on the button! Hooray! And I'll move the portal out of the way so that we can go back into that room if need be. Ta-da! Now we can respawn the cube, and... bring it into the other room. Come on. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Past me got impatient. See? It happens sometimes, Rector. I get impatient. So let's spawn this cube first, because that only seems to need one button to be pressed. We have two cubes now, and they're not differentiated in any way. They look identical. And it turns out it doesn't matter. You don't really need to differentiate them. But, uh, yeah. How do we break that glass, I wonder? BAM! The glass breaks for you. Yeah, I told you! I told you that was breakable glass! I, <laughs> I was like, saying, I called it! I called it! Of course, y'all don't get to hear that audio, because uh, my mic was muted, of course. I was just looking at the, the eye candy and stuff. You could actually see the sun up there, which was neat. It's not often you get to see the sun shining through the, uh, the maps there. And I'm trying to figure out, like, if we can go back, because I wanted to see if I could jump onto that... this, uh, this thing up here. When I look up in a moment here, we'll see. Yeah, there's no funnel there anymore. I wanted to see if I could jump onto that. Obviously, there's not enough space for me, but I still wanted to test. And I didn't get to test, because the, the map had other things in mind. So now we gotta figure out how to get the cubes in here, and I'm pretty sure... I might have done this in a slightly unintended manner, but, uh, <laughs> I'll take it. So when you- you can't see any portal surface when you're standing on that button. So instead, you gotta figure out an alternative way. And I think, just like before, it- I just noticed, now, as I'm doing this post-commentary, that, uh, it actually teaches you about putting the cube in the funnel, and then running ahead of it in the first area, and now we have to do it again. Like, I didn't even- I didn't even put two and two together like that. I just decided to do putting the cube in the funnel and running ahead of it, and it worked out. I didn't realize it was teaching me that in the first place. I might have subconsciously learned that. But yeah, so now, if we stand here in just the right way, we can see that portal surface. Not entirely convinced that's intended, but, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, I decided to use the portals the other way around so that the black portal's underneath the funnel. Not that it matters too much. Now we can take the other cube in. Bam! Get on there, cube. So now, we actually have the funnel, and we can put cubes in it. That just turns off the fizzler, but the cube didn't quite go in, and now it aim assisted! Like, why didn't it aim assist the first time? Weird. So now we can go through this fizzler, and, uh, this part actually takes me a little while, because I'm trying to figure out how do I get both cubes in here while also getting upstairs. It takes me a little while to figure out. I don't remember what I was saying, though. I think this part is also coming up on where, uh, I realized my mic was muted. Yeah. <laughs> in this episode, I realized my mic is muted, and you're gonna get to hear actual live commentary for the rest of this episode after that point, in about a minute from now. So I'm, like, lifting this cube up, trying to figure out if I want to get the cube in here. And it's a bad idea. That reverses the funnel, I notice. But I don't actually step on the button for some reason. Like, why don't I just step on the button to see what it does? Instead, I actually take the cube, and put the cube on the button, and see that there's a reverse funnel, and I'm like, how is this useful to me? This doesn't seem useful at all. What would I use a reverse funnel for? Yeah, duh. <laughs> I'm supposed to actually do something else, as we'll see in the rest of this episode shortly, once the commentary resumes. Thankfully, it was somebody in my live studio audience who pointed out to me that my mic was muted. And, uh, I appreciate them pointing it out. So, I will see you guys another day. Here comes the live commentary! Shortly. Holy crap, my mic was muted this whole time?! Okay, hold on a sec. Crap. How many maps was my mic muted for? That makes me angry. I s- Okay, so, my microphone is a Blue Yeti, it has a physical mute button, but the thing is when you press it, there's only a 50% chance that it will actually toggle. Like, you can press it multiple times and nothing will happen, and then like the fourth time you press it, it'll finally toggle? I hate that so much. I hate that so much. Well, I've got a bunch of of uh, no commentary episodes, I guess. I had I was telling stories. I was uh, talking about cool stuff, and apparently nobody heard what I was saying because of my stupid blue yeti microphone. I'm so angry right now. <laughs> that sucks, man.
Right, well. Nothing much to do about that, I suppose. Might do post commentaries, who knows. So. We need to figure out how to get a cube in here. While also maintaining a portal out there, or something. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, actually, why don't I just do this? I can stand on this button. Yeah, fancy that. And then I could leave the cube here. Actually... Yeah. And then, we can do... Maybe this? I think this should work. Oh, yeah, that just does that. Fancy that. And then we should be able to just take the cube up here with us. There we go. Wherever that radio is, I need to find it and shut it off before YouTube content ID gets me. Crap. <laughs> Don't content ID me, YouTube! Um... That song is- that song is- I cannot- that song cannot be. No! That just made it worse! Alright, stop sound. <laughs> okay, so, I'll probably want to take the cubes with me, right? That would be my guess. But yeah, lesson learned. Deleting a radio does not stop its sound, apparently. Oh, what the? That's not what I wanted to have happen. So. Oh, we've got another funnel here and everything. Yeah, that was Exile Villavi. We cannot listen to it. Oh no. How long does this one last? Really now? How is this supposed to work? What's going on here? It's just black down there. What am I supposed to do here? Wait, let me line it up first of all. I don't think this is gonna make a difference, but uh... Worth a shot, right? Yeah, that- no. That's not- that's not helpful. if we have a slipper cube. Slipper cube, hooray! Hey, look at that, it made it into the funnel. Is it still slippery after the funnel? Yeah, it's still slippery after the funnel. That's neat. I, 
thought I saw that change for a moment there when I looked at it. Is there anything up here I need? Oh, is this just off now, huh? Why would I want to go in there? Why would I want to come in here still? Cause I can't use that. In fact, I think I would get stuck. If I touch that. What happens? How does the map handle this? Apparently the map does not handle this. The map requires you to go back and press the buttons again. Except you can't. Are you serious? I can press this one, though. Is this how you handle it, huh? Alright, is this button over here? Right. Yeah. Well, let's not do that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's gotta be a better way to handle it than forcing the player to redo everything, right? Oh, that's... unexpected, to say the least. Right, that radio's still going. So! I don't know what to do here. Like, this doesn't make sense. Oh, that's all we needed to do? Well, how was I supposed to know? Well, okay then. Let's at least make a slipper cube before we go. Yay, slipper cube! Goodbye, Flipper Cube. Alright. Well... As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all... What? <laughs> In another episode? I think? Goodbye? <laughs> Weird elevator. <laughs>